Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. I'm not here to preach today. I'm not here to share the word of God. I'm here just to remind us that Jesus is coming. We should amend our ways. We should check our life. We should examine ourselves. Because the word of God, the word of prophecy is almost, is almost uh, fulfilled, you know. All the things that Jesus gave us the sign in, in Matthew 24 is coming to pass. Let us amend our ways. We should not say that we are already in holiness. We are already in Christ. We still have to examine ourselves to see if we are in the standard that God wants us to get. By checking our life every day, by giving our life to Jesus, by renewing our covenant with God every day. To renew our covenant with God every day, we must think that we are right with God. We don't want to be surprised on that day. Please let us check our life. Check our life because the things are getting worse. This is just the beginning. The beginning of sorrow. The real one is coming. And only those that are right with God, only those that in the, in the sight of God that will be, will be saved. So let us be in the sight of God. Let us believe and be the doer of the word of God. To practice it, to put it in practice, it's not all about I'm better than anybody. Only God can say that who is better. He's coming to choose. He's coming to collect the chosen one. Are you among the chosen? Let us check our life daily, every single minute to check. How many times we commit sin a day? How many times we are filled in the eyes of God? Let us check our life. Let us check our life. Honestly talking, I'm very afraid. I'm very afraid because I know that everything that we ever read in the Bible or we are still reading in the Bible is about to come to pass. And the great day that you always preach to others, the great day that you always talk about is soon going to take place. Are we ready for it? Look at the way we are shaking just because of this pestilence, just because of vaccination. Look at the way we are, we are shaking. What if the real one take place? What if the real one? What if you have to miss it? What, what will you do? What will you do? Can you handle the Antichrist? Nobody wants to face Antichrist. That's why we are working hard so that we not face, we not miss the coming of our Lord Jesus. He's at hand. He can be any moment. Let us cleanse our heart. Let us make our ways right with God. Make a, if you have not yet given your life to Jesus, don't say that is not my time yet. Nobody knows his time. Nobody knows his time, my brother, my sister. Nobody knows his time. Your time is the moment you are hearing the word of God. Your time is the moment that you've been preached salvation. Your time is that time that God is giving you the grace to hear this word so that you can be saved. Let us not wait for tomorrow. Let us not wait for tomorrow. People are dying. People are dying. They have planned for tomorrow. But they are dying today. They are dying today. Even as I'm talking to you, people are falling in hell. People are falling in hell right now that I'm talking to you. Let us check ourselves. Me, myself, I'm checking my own. I've been crying for mercy all the time. How is this day going to meet me? Will he meet me in the presence of God? Will he meet me doing sin? Will he meet me taking some, just talking about somebody? Will he meet me doing something that is not pleasing God? This is the time to check our garment. You might think your garment is clean, but you have one spot. You might think your robe of righteousness is right, but you have one stand. Let us check that stand now. Let us check that stand. Let us have time, spend more time checking out the stand in our garment. Taking the spot, checking the spot in our garment. Let us take that time. Let us take that time. Please repent. Repent from your evil way. Repent the things that you are doing. Ask God what I'm doing. Is it the will of God for me? Repent now. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. Jesus can come any moment. Even now that I'm talking to you. Jesus can come. Jesus can appear any moment. Rapture can take place any moment. You can die any moment. God can decide to call you any moment for judgment. Let us prepare ourselves. Let us prepare ourselves. How many time God is giving you? How many hours do you have left? How many years do you have left? How many months do you have left? How many weeks do you have left? If you don't know, the person that knows is God. And that God can call you any moment. Are you ready for it? Let us repent. Let us repent. Let us examine ourselves daily. Let us check ourselves daily. Let us check our life daily. Let us examine ourselves. 
I'm not here because I'm better than you. I'm not here because I'm right than you. I'm here because two of us, we need to work together. You pray for me, I pray for you. You pray for me, I pray for you. It's not because I'm better than you, that's why I'm doing all this video. I'm just doing all this video to encourage ourselves, to remind ourselves that Jesus is coming. And the judgment is going to take place any moment. The judgment of the wicked is going to be tough. And the judgment, God said, the judgment will start from his house. He starts from those that know the truth. Those that are called themselves Christian, you and I. God is going to judge us according to the truth that we know. This is the time to prepare ourselves. My sister, hear yeah, my voice. You are hearing my voice, but it's not me talking. It's God talking to you and my and me god is talking to god is talking to you and i to amend our ways jesus is coming this is not a joke jesus is coming you are waiting for hear the for you to hear the testimony of somebody that is coming from hell you have been hearing it is enough god will not come and send another person for because of your stubbornness because of my stubbornness this is the time to amend our way to make it right jesus is coming let us check ourselves. Let us check our ways of doing things. Let us check our ways of talking. Let us check our heart daily. The word that is coming out of your mouth, make sure it's coming from your heart. The Bible says the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaker. If you're bringing the filthy words, that means your heart is not clean before God. Let us cleanse our heart. Ask God for purification. Ask for God for spiritual cleansing. God to cleanse, to cleanse you, to cleanse me. Jesus is coming. Let us check the state of our spiritual garment, our spiritual <laughs> garment, our robe of righteousness. We have the robe from the day you gave your life to Jesus. The robe was granted to you. The garment was given to you. We meant to keep it pure until the coming of the law of the coming the coming of the Lamb. Because on that day you are going to appear before Him before him with that garment. If that garment is filthy, there is no way you enter in his kingdom. If you find yourself with sin, that means you have lost your garment. You have lost your salvation. You appear before the Lord, before God Almighty naked. That's why the Bible is saying in the book of Revelation that make sure that you keep yourself so that that day you not appear, you don't find yourself naked. Naked covered with sin. It's, sin is the sign of nakedness. Let us repent now. Don't think about tomorrow because tomorrow might not come to you. Because tomorrow it might be too late for you. I have friends. I have friends, I'm telling you. I lose so many friends. I lose so many friends. The one, the last one, I was talking with that person. I was talking with my friend until uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. first time, European time, and 9 p.m. London time. After I finished talking with that, my friend, they called me around 5 o'clock to give me the, the news that that my friend passed. And before that, my friend died, he used to drink. And I preached to, I preached to my friend. I told him to accept Jesus. He refused. And after a few hours later, he died. I have my neighbor here. He came from work, he have his dinner, he have everything ready. He said to the wife, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. He never wake up. How do you know that tomorrow you'll see tomorrow? Me that I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you today. Tomorrow you might get the news that they are sharing my picture that I'm not more. I'm no more. And you'll be surprised. Oh, I saw her last video. Yesterday she was preaching. Yes, if my time of judgment has arrived to me, I cannot say no. I have to go and face it. But the problem is not to face it. The problem is that, how is it going to be? After facing it, will I hear the part? Or will I hear my faithful servant? Think about it. We are all called to be servants. Think about your salvation. Think about your salvation. Think about your salvation. Rededicate your life to Christ. Give your life, renew your covenant with God by repenting. Repent, ask God forgiveness, and make it right with him. This is the word of encouragement that I had for you and, I'm, and myself. To repent. Jesus is coming. We've been hearing Jesus is coming since we were born. Now this is the time to face it. It's for real. We are going to face it. May the Lord bless you. Shalom.